is my first attempt at a YouTube video, so please forgive any faux pas or mistakes. Uh, I've been looking at a lot of tool bag tours on YouTube and not seeing a whole lot for uh, audio video, you know, low volt technicians. So uh, this is my attempt at uh, filling that void. So as you can see, I've got the Vito Pro Pack XXLF. Um, it's a little wider than most of their bags, but I like that feature because it spreads the tools out and, uh, you know, they're not all bunched together. It makes them a little easier to find. Um, so let's just start with on the side. I've got the Klein tape measure 25 footer. Um, I like this one because of the way that they've got the, uh, you know, the, the marks separated thin and thick. It's a little easier to read that way. Um, on the other side of the bag, I've got some tape, a couple spade bits, you know, for drilling through uh, finished mill work and things like that. Trying to minimize the blowout in the wood. Uh, a couple markers, and then a little mag light for shoving in holes that you cut in drywall um so on the front it's pretty packed it's heavy it's uh 46 pounds i believe uh i'd rather go in loaded for bear than have to keep making multiple trips to my truck so I try to cut down on that. I mean, you're only carrying it in once. It's not like you're walking around with it all day long. So uh, that's why it's so heavy. So here we got uh, a Philo Ergonic number two Roberts. Sometimes I have to get into an electrical panel. Uh, so that's why that's there. We got a DeWalt beater screwdriver. Speaks for itself. We've got the Vessel Impacta, number three. Uh, it's supposed to do 12 degrees of rotation if you hit it, if there's a fastener stuck. But um, I like it because it's perfect for when I'm putting uh, wall mounts on displays. Uh, Samsung tends to use the biggest bolts that come with the hardware packs, and this is perfect. I don't like to run them in under power, usually. Uh, we got the Stahl Villa ratcheting screwdriver with a JIS bit. Uh, haven't had it long, so I can't really speak to the quality of it, but it seems like it's uh, very well made. Uh, I got a little Allen Bradley terminal block tweaker. It seems to be the best tweaker I've run across. We got a uh, Klein triple tap. You just never know. Got a couple more tweakers here. I got this little Klein jobby. Uh, I like it, but the bit falls out of it real easy. So um, keep that in mind if you're thinking about maybe picking one up. I got the uh, Hanson Magnetic Stud Finder. In 25 years of doing this type of work, it's the best stud finder I've run across. I've had all the fancy electronic ones, and this one hasn't ever really let me down. So it's about 8 bucks on Amazon. It's pretty good. Uh, I got a couple pairs of Dykes Nipex with the Comfort Grips. And I got a pair of the high leverage NWS rebrand uh, for Irwin. They seem pretty well made. I haven't been able to booger up the jaws. So uh, we'll see how those hold up. I got a pair of the Nipex pliers wrenches. These are the seven and a halfs. These things are great. They replace the uh, uh, crescent wrench or adjustable in my bag. 
Uh, I like it because you can do the ratcheting action instead of uh, having to constantly take it off and readjust it like you do with crescent wrenches. Pair of snap-on uh, end cutters and nippers. Good for pulling nails and whatnot on rough ends, pre-wires. Pair of channel locks. The only reason I keep these in there is for the screw cutting function. They seem to be the best made uh, quality-wise screw cutters. Usually screw cutters are pretty jankily made. A uh, pair of channel lock lineman's pliers. I don't do a lot of electrical work, but when I do, you know, it's nice to know these are there. We got a punch down tool with a 66 and a 110. This is an ICC I've had for 15 years or so. Got a Swanson level, lighted. I like that feature. I'm getting older, harder to see, yada, yada, yada. Uh, nylon pry bar, non-marring for popping moldings and things like that. We got an F wrench, LSD model. Another pair of uh, channel lock pliers here, the uh, the GL tens. Have too many pliers in your bag, in my opinion. Uh, I got a couple of Apex bits here on the side. I like the Philos because they're they seem to be made better than your just off the shelf Home Depot. They last longer. The tips don't booger up as much set of engineer PZ 59s for uh, removing stripped out screws uh, they seem to work really well like if you know the, the cheap Chinese steel that they use for the fasteners in the hardware mount for uh, TVs and displays if you ever get one stuck you can you can use these. Uh, zip tie gun. Works pretty well. An assortment of uh, marking tools in a little jar to keep them from falling and going everywhere in the bag. Uh, we got a adjustable uh, fitting compressor for uh, F connectors, BNCs, and such. We've got the Ideal uh, Easy RJ45 crimper. I used to have the Platinum Tools type, but they wear out so quickly I decided I'd try this one. It's a little simpler design. It seems to be holding up well. Very needle nose. Uh, just a standard utility knife. It's the Coast version with the uh, Stanley carbide blades in it. Uh, we've got another F wrench. This is for, uh, you know, when all those cables and F connections are on an amp or something like that or distribution panel and you can't get your fat sausage fingers in there, this thing. Uh, I haven't had it long. I just tried it out in my own basement. It works really well. Got a puck for punching down uh, Ethernet jacks. Uh, coax stripper does uh, 59, 6, and RG11. Got a UTP Cat5, Cat6 stripper. Uh, this doesn't get as much use as it used to, but it's for uh, 
mini coax, uh, five conductor mini coax with the three piece fittings. Strips that. Keep it around because some of the older installations we've done, you never know what you're gonna, you know, if you're gonna run back into them. Uh, foldable painter's tool just for the general, you know, use and it's got all kinds of uses. Got a beading cap on the end too. Extra phone charger. Keep all this kind of stuff in a little empty uh, tic tac jar. It seems to work great. It's got a nice flip, you know, flip cap that latches pretty positively, so you're not losing stuff. Philo mini ratchet converts any little, you know, quarter inch hex bit to a low profile right angle screwdriver, basically. An assortment of step drills that fit into the uh, chuck on my screw gun, sorry. Got a coax tester, text checks for shorts and opens, and here's all the adapters that go with it in another Tic Tac jar. Works well, it's a Testum CX200. couple of wire strippers uh these are from 22 gauge to 32 gauge you know for small security wires and whatnot standard uh 12 to 16 gauge here a bunch of miscellaneous stuff specialty needle nose with the crimp zone for the bubble splices the 3m bubble splices Small pair of channel locks. Set of hemos for fishing wires out in little tight, deep spaces. Set of telecom speaker, uh, sorry, scissors. Uh, Fiskers, I believe. Got a wrench for half inch electrical uh, lock nuts for electrical fittings. I lost the three quarter. I'm going to go out and buy another set. And we've got a glue gun for gluing on IR blinkers onto displays and other equipment that we want to control. Uh, we got a stubby, multi bit stubby. An assortment of bits in there. Not the best quality, but uh, don't really use it that much. So uh, we've got the standard uh, security bit set. Somehow managed to keep this one intact. And we've got an assortment of ball drivers that fit my the chuck on my screw gun uh these are bondus are very good quality made in usa haven't broken or stripped one and we got a template for cutting single gang and two gang holes in drywall up here we've got a larry light sorry if that blinded you i like it because it's got a magnetic base you can stick it on panels or racks uh, a gator gator grip socket comes in handy sometimes on the odd fastener and extra leads for my mechanical pencil the other skinny slot Got a couple electrical things. I've got an outlet tester with GFI test. Another flashlight. You can't have too many flashlights. I keep this one because of the clip. will clip right onto the bill of your baseball hat. And a Klein Tools dual voltage uh, non-contact tester. A 
again, I'm in a, I'm a low volt technician. We do home automation. We do security. We do networks, surround sounds, home theaters, commercial, residential. And here's the other side. In this skinny pocket here, I keep a bunch of IR blinkers. These skinny pockets really don't have a good use, so... In the bottom one, I keep some earplugs and some aluminum tape. It seems to be the best for sticking to the backs of these panels when you want to tie up a bunch of wires. Probably not the best way to do it, and if anybody's got better ideas on, you know, the best way to manage all the cables that come with, you know, automating a home and using HDMI, HD-based T-balins on the back of TVs. Um, in, you know, 25 years, I haven't discovered a surefire best way to do it, so I'm open to suggestions. Uh, on the back side, we've got a zip tie container. It's nice because you can clip it to your belt and then you just reach in through that hole, pull out your zip ties. Uh, the, this, this bag is almost perfect because if you put everything in just right, everything fits perfectly, but it will only go one way. Um, one of these days I expect these manufacturers will start making allowances for carrying organizers in your bag, uh, instead of taking up valuable tool space. But anyway, I got the Milwaukee. Screw, drum, screw gun, screwdriver, whatever you want to call it, with a four inch number two screwdriver bit. That little jar with a microfiber in it for wiping down displays and things like that. Keep it in there to keep the grit off of it. You know, I don't want to scratch a customer's new 82 inch Samsung TV. And I got an assortment of screws. Assortment of wire nuts, bubble splices. And we have RJ11s, RJ45 shielded, Cat6, uh, F fittings, BNCs, F barrels, things of that nature. Got a little box of batteries. Fluke toner. Best one I've ever used. I like the progressive stuff, but I am a fan of Fluke products, so uh, I spent the extra money in and got this bad boy. Got a portable soldering iron. Uh, this one seems to have held up longer than any one I've ever tried. I've had the Wellers, uh, the Portisols, and this one's pretty good. Plus, I like the case. It's nice and thin. Got a selection of hex bits that fits in the screw gun. Um, also, drill bits with the hex shank on them that fit in the screw gun. They come in handy. You don't have to... I rarely have to use my big, you know, 18-volt hammer drill. Uh, this usually gets me through. Got a multimeter. It's a Milwaukee. Jury's still out on this. My fluke died. It's. I've had it since 98. Uh... I'm not sure about this one. I'm going to give it a few more tries, and then maybe I'll just go back to Fluke, probably. A couple two-way radios for when a guy's in the attic trying to fish some wire. And Stanley. I'm not a big fan of Stanley's quality. You know, I like the German and American-made stuff, but this is the most compact uh, ratchet and socket set that I was able to find that actually had a socket up to 9 16 and it fits in the bag perfectly, so I just took a chance and bought it. I mean, I don't really use it a lot, but size. And we have network tester. Got to have that, all the Cat5 and Cat6 that we run. Up in here you got a breakout tool for phone work, which we do sometimes, not as much as we used to, but... Still got to have it. Uh, the test end for the the test remote for the uh, network tester. And jumper. That's it. Oh, and then in this long skinny pouch, I've got the drywall saw. 
This is by Wallboard. Uh, found it not in the tool section at Home Depot, but actually over in the drywall section. This thing gets its business done. It's really sharp. It's the best uh, drywall saw I think I've ever had. And that's about it. Um, you know, I uh, like I said, I didn't see a whole lot of uh, tool bag videos for guys in my line of work. I figured I'd throw one together and kick it up there and see what you guys thought about it. Um, you got any comments or suggestions or anything like that? Let me know. And uh, I appreciate your time. Have a good day.